Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, thanks for tuning in to another video. A little bit of a custom video today. Um, I do these every so often, I like to tweak my action figures a little bit and uh, just in, make subtle little improvements. Um, what do I think improvement improvements uh, anyway? Um, so yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do and uh, please give the video a thumbs up. And uh, those are both things you can do while you're watching, so I uh, appreciate it. So I uh, sort of come up with this uh, vintage collection, uh, Last Jedi Kylo Ren. So I had an extra one of these on the card. Um, I had it in, just stored away um, back from the vintage collection and kicked off again back in 2018. And uh, I've had my 5 POA Kylo Ren um, on display with this Luke. I just need to turn my light down a little bit. So Crate Luke, this is uh, quite a difficult figure to find now. Um, I was very lucky to get one. <laughs> it was the only one I ever saw. And uh, it was the only one I saw because I they don't actually come out in stores here anywhere. So I find myself very fortunate to have this version of Luke. Uh, it's not the best figure, but it's nice to have. My main issue is the uh, the hands don't really hold the lightsaber very well. And you can't have the arms actually, the hands actually meet and hold the lightsaber in a nice tight grip. So. Um, yeah, that's something I may want to tweak a little bit myself at some point. Um, but for now, I uh, really wanted to just improve on... Well, this is the 5 POA Kylo Ren. And uh, the sculpt's nice. It sits nicely. Um, but I've been really asking for, for the longest time, uh, to get a super articulated uh, Kylo Ren from The Last Jedi slash Rise of Skywalker. And... Uh, even Ray as well, you know, being the main character from that film. I know they've done, they've done that Ray. Uh, they've done this Ray, which is a bit of a custom. I put the uh, five POA head on that figure. Um, just looks a little bit nicer, I think. Uh, she's got the gloves, and then this one, which I also customised, and I gave her some just plain hands. So I got rid of the gloves. And just gave her plain hands, so she was just the sort of pretty standard basic Ray um, from Force Awakens. And uh, that's my other TVC Kylo Ren. I gave him the uh, unmasked head from the uh, 5 POA unmasked Kylo Ren. And uh, that fit quite well. But yeah, I still find there's a lot of characters from The Force Awakens that deserve better versions of themselves. <laughs> um, particular the fact we don't even have a uh, general layer we got this one uh, which doesn't look the best but we didn't get a 5 POA general layer this Han Solo doesn't have a super articulated version that one there I have customized that Han Solo I did a video on that a little while ago um, so definitely scroll back through if you missed that one I'll sort of explain how I did that and what I did um, so yeah, it's glaringly obvious, like we got Phasma, um, we got Island Journey Ray, and uh, I think uh, Snoke, of course, Praetorian Guard, a couple of those uh, Executor Troopers. And yeah, it's sort of been a little bit dry, particularly in the sequels, like we we're well aware that uh, the vintage collection is extremely scarce, or well, the 3 and 3.5, 3, 3 and 3 quarter inch. Uh, part of the collection is uh, very lacking in Rise of Skywalker stuff. Doesn't matter how you feel about the movie. There's the, the figures, the figure line, and the toys are so underserved. Um, but yeah, that version of Ray there would be fantastic. So I've got myself a Kylo Ren here. So basically, what I did is I I, I took uh, the body from the Force Awakens Kylo Ren and just sort of trimmed that cloth that fabric off the long longer skirt bit there and then of course he has the plastic one underneath and because it sort of stuck out a little bit I, I trimmed them right off so you can actually you turn around you can actually see there are some sort of just small remnants of that underneath 
Um, I know the patterns don't really match, but that's just because of the uh, soft goods they've chosen to use use here. It's it's probably the, as close as match as you can. Um, I feel like if they were to put this figure out itself, they would probably just use a soft plastic instead of uh, material, so it could look a little bit more uniform from like the top of the torso down to underneath the belt. But for the most part, um, his boots, legs, arms are the same. So I've, I've kept them that way. And uh, I think it actually looks quite good. Um, so the head was on that figure. And I've actually hollowed that out quite a lot. Um, I think I just used a... That's about a three, three mil drill bit, I think. Just to sort of slowly bore that out a little bit more. And then I just used a sharp Stanley knife just to sort of trim down that ball on the uh, socket there because it was meant to fit. This was the uh, original topper that came with the Vintage Collection one, which is all this one piece, which was a little bit of a lazy, uh, lazy option in my opinion. But, um, you know, it looked visibly cool. It looked good. and uh, But yeah, better suited to a 5 POA figure in my opinion. So... Um, so yeah, that fits on quite nicely. Uh, I feel like I'd still use a little bit trimming on the ball, um, just because his face sort of uh, sort of push out a little bit. Um, if I can get that ball joint just a little bit slimmer, it won't squ squash out his head so much. Um, so yeah, I just, I'd need to just fine tune that a little bit. But otherwise, it's, I've got myself a super articulated Kylo Ren from. The Last Jedi. Uh, he's got his scar, so you could essentially use that for, you know, the early stages of Rise of Skywalker 2. Um, and uh, also the cape. <laughs> there goes the head. But uh, this sort of the plastic cape will sort of sit on there nicely as well, so you can sort of recreate some of those scenes as well. that body of that aside <laughs> I just put that in my uh, like ex uh, extra parts I do have like a big fodder box of you know used action figure parts so yeah I'm really really thrilled with how this turned out actually it wants to be able to recreate that that scene and because Hasbro hasn't given us a six inch version of crate Luke either um, yeah, we're sort of just left waiting on a lot of uh, sequel stuff, which you, know, you all know that I'm, I'm a big sequel trilogy fan, so I know not everyone is, and that's okay, but uh, I'm a big fan, particularly of The Last Jedi. That's uh, my favorite of the three. Um, <laughs> if you just subscribed at the start of the video, I'm sure you're going to unsubscribe now. Um, because I know a lot of people don't love it, but uh, that's that's okay too. But yeah, it's uh, it's come up quite nice. I'm uh, I'm 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 actually really happy with this figure now. I uh, minus the sort of head fix I need to do just to tidy that up a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to maybe recreating that scene on crate. around he's a bit more hunched over because he's getting a little bit a little bit aggressive there he looks just flicking dust off his shoulder like it's no one's business like just complete boss move that he is <laughs> doing there on crate So yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys think. But yeah, definitely would love to see some more additions to the Vintage Collection from the sequel trilogy. Either of the movies would do, um, but uh, it seems like that's not really their focus at the moment. But uh, yeah, hopefully a time will come where we can uh, increase the 3.75 
uh, sequel trilogy collection. So yeah, looking forward to putting them back front and center there. Awesome. All right, thank you very much for watching again. If you like the video, please subscribe. I do occasionally do these custom videos. Um, but yeah, please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, hit the little notification bell as well so you don't miss any future videos. I do appreciate your time and your comments and all that good stuff. So uh, until my next one, may the force be with you, always.